so yeah real talk right now I think I'm probably one year late to this video but hey better late than never right <laughs> I'm talking about comparing the iPhone 10x camera versus a DSLR. What I'm gonna do is gonna give you five different images, both DSLR and from the iPhone. You have to figure out which one was shot on the Pro DSLR and on the iPhone. All right, five images, here we go. Yeah, which one was which? Did you guess right? Hopefully you did. I mean, hopefully it was kind of obvious as to which photos were from the iPhone and which were from the Canon 5D Mark IV. I hope I made it somewhat clear. There are certain things that give it away that have that more DSLR look to them and there are other pictures that have that iPhone look to them. On the 5D Mark IV, I did automatic mode. At first I started with aperture priority, but then I'm like, ah, oh, no, I wanted to match somewhat what the iPhone would do. So it was automatic all throughout. I adjusted somewhat of the ISO sometimes, but I try to make it look as true as possible to the iPhone and vice versa. Yeah, I mean, I this was this was kind of fun actually. I, I should do some more. There's videos out there that kind of, you know, showcase different cameras versus the iPhone 10, but not really with the 5D Mark IV and I'm just gonna say that there's no comparing the two. You just really can't. But it all came down to lighting, composition, and overall like skills of the photographer. And that's one thing that people don't really get with new iPhones coming out, with new cameras coming out in these phones. Yes, they're really capable of doing different things. People don't get that a photographer who knows what they're doing will ultimately get a better photo than someone who has the latest and greatest gear. Now again, it's all subjective, I understand. But at some point, we have to go back to the fact that photographers are photographers for a reason. They're skilled people that know things about photography that the normal person wouldn't get. Like people with an iPhone with extreme lenses on it doesn't make you a photographer. Sort of the reason why I wanted to make this video and just show you guys and you know give you an insight to, yeah, you may have the latest and greatest iPhone, but you're still not going to produce the same images as your favorite photographer. You're just not going to. If that same photographer that you love him or her were to grab the iPhone, they would produce really well made photos, really well composed photos because they know things about photography that you don't. Don't hate the player, hate the game. What I mean by that is don't hate the person that has less gear or less expensive gear than you and is getting better photos. It's just, that's part of the game. Like you, the game being, you as a photographer have to be skilled enough, have to know what you're doing to get really good photos and produce really good photos, whether it be an iPhone, DSLR, or whatever it may be. You know, most people that I know that call themselves a photographer have gone to Best Buy and picked up a camera and literally just started shooting that day and posted on Instagram, hey, I'm a photographer now. And that's the world we live in, where anything like that can happen and you can get business from it, you can grow a photography business doing that, but that will fade and the true photographers will stay. They will get the work. I totally believe that. Going back to the start of this video, were you able to tell the difference between an iPhone and a pro DSLR? I don't know, I guess it all depends in the editing and the photographer and lighting, all this other stuff, right? I know that I'm a year late on this whole trend of iPhone versus DSLR, but hey, I had fun making this video, so better late than never, right? Maybe next year, I'll do a review of the iPhone 11 when the iPhone 12 comes out. Yeah, I think maybe it should just be a thing on my channel. Mm, probably not. All right, I should maybe just get the iPhone 11 and just do a review. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and would you please like this video, would you comment, and would you also please subscribe to the channel? It would mean so much to me. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time on the Johnny Q channel. Peace.